Welcome everyone to my Navia pre-release kit overview. In this video, I will explain what she does and give my overall thoughts regarding Navia and how you could play her. This is not a build guide, what I say is just my first impressions, and everything said in this video is highly likely to change since Navia is in beta. Without further ado, let's jump right into her kit. Navia is a 5-star Geo DPS, Claymore-wielding character that scales on attack. Her normal attacks deal 4 hits of physical damage. Navia's elemental skill might be a bit complicated at first. So, whenever any character in your team picks up a crystallized shard, Navia gains one charge called Crystal Shrapnel, and these charges can stack up to six. When using Navia's elemental skill, she will use some sort of cannon and consume all shard stacks to deal geo damage. Each shard consumed will increase the number of shots from Navia's cannon. The more hits you get, the higher your damage will be. So, with that said, with Navia, you will want Geo characters to enable the Crystallize reaction. Her elemental skill also has a hold version, in which you can aim. While in aiming mode, you will also collect nearby shards. There is no extra cooldown for holding her elemental skill. Navia's elemental skill has two casts, but you do not want to use them after each other. Because of Navia's passive, which infuses her normal, charged and plunging attacks with Geo damage for a short duration, and increases damage from the attacks. So, you will most likely want to cast her skill, then normal attack until the infusion runs out, and then cast her skill again and repeat. Navia has an Archie alignment of Usia. When her elemental skill hits, she will periodically deal Usia aligned geo damage. Navia's elemental burst deals AoE geo damage upon cast and continues to deal geo damage for a certain period. When attacks from her burst hits opponents, Navia will gain one shard in a given time window. Now that we know what her burst does, you could theoretically be able to get stacks from just using her burst. But having another Geo character is still going to be beneficial, since you may not always have your burst ready, and the Geo resonance decreases. Geo resistance, if your character is shielded. Moving on to her passives, her first passive is an Expedition passive. Her second passive grants her Geo infusion after using her elemental skill and increases damage of the attacks, all for a short duration. Her third passive increases her attack for each Pyro, Electro, Cryo, or Hydro teammate, stacking up to two times. So in most cases, you will want two teammate of separate elements. I'm not 100% sure if it has to be separate elements or it could be the same elements, but let's go with the assumption of two separate elements. Your teammates must have the ability to apply their element from off-field to trigger Crystallize. To do that, they must be able to react with Geo, both Anemo and Dendro do not react with Geo. So swirling Geo for the Veer Descent Werner buff is not an option. Therefore, sticking with these elements, Furina is a decent pick with Navia, although do keep in mind that Navia does not have an HP consumption mechanism. With Furina you will need a healer, you could use Jean in this spot, but if you do use Jean, you will only be using her for her healing, not for her Animo or Veer Descent Werner. There are healers that work with Furina and apply off field damage such as Charlotte. Since Navia scales on attack and crit, you will want weapons that increase attack or crit. I will release a quick build guide in the future to rank her weapons, so please wait for that to come out. As for artifacts, there seems to be an artifact set made for her coming out next patch, so you will most likely want to wait for that to come out. But that's all from this overview. I know it's not detailed, but hopefully this video has helped you to better understand Navia's kit. I will release a build guide soon, where I will compare her artifacts and weapons, but until then, thank you for making it till the end, and thank you for watching.